Scientists have been on the hunt for water on Mars for decades, with the idea that there is water on the planet. In some cases, scientists have been successful, with evidence suggesting that there may have been water on the Red Planet. The rover, which was built to withstand the harsh environment on the Red Planet, was exploring a mountain range near the planet's equator when it came across a series of depressions in the ground. Hey there guys and welcome back to our channel Mars Discovery. In today's video, we will take a look at the hidden ocean discovered by the Perseverance rover on Mars. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more Mars-related content. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. After analyzing the terrain, scientists at NASA concluded that the depressions likely contained oceans billions of years ago. The discovery is the first evidence that oceans have been discovered on Mars, and it may indicate that the planet was a wetter and warmer place in its past. For years, scientists have speculated that oceans might once have existed on Mars. Some have even suggested that a small amount of water may be present in the planet's mantle. The new study suggests that the ocean was maybe even bigger than we thought. Over the past decade, the number of observed Martian lakes has grown dramatically. And among them, one of the largest ever found by the spacecraft. Data from NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, or MRO, show that the lakes are located in a region known as the Cold Trap, a zone where water-rich ice tends to become concentrated and cold. The presence of so many lakes indicates that Mars's climate was warmer and wetter than it is today, which would have made it a prime environment for the development of life. Some have even speculated that there were oceans on the Red Planet, with rivers flowing through and lakes stretching across its surface. However, the latest discovery suggests that the planet was a much more aquamarine place over the course of its history, with rivers, lakes, and oceans dotting its surface. For decades, scientists have speculated about what may have happened to all the water on Mars, which is believed to have been substantially wetter. Some water can be found frozen in the Martian polar ice caps, but new research indicates there is also a shocking amount of water on the other regions. The discovery could have a significant impact on developing plans to harvest water for a future human presence on the Red Planet. It's been primarily presumed that as Mars's ancient atmosphere was gradually sucked out into space, much of its surface water went with it. But, a new NASA-backed study suggests a significant portion of the Martian moisture is still on the planet trapped in its crust. The study, which was conducted by scientists at the Georgia Institute of Technology, found that the majority of the water on the surface of Mars is likely frozen. But, in the planet's midriff region, where the atmosphere is thicker and the temperature is more relaxed, the water may remain in liquid form. According to the discovery by the Perseverance rover, the amount of water available on Mars may be greater than we previously thought. The team found that 4 billion years ago, Mars had enough water to cover the entire planet with an ocean between 100 and 1500 meters deep, and that between 30% and 99% of that water is now trapped in minerals in the crust. When water and rock interact, a chemical weathering process can occur that creates materials such as clays that can contain water within their mineral structure. This process happens on Earth, but the geological cycle eventually sends moisture trapped in rocks back into the atmosphere through volcanism. Mars, however, appears to have very little, if any, volcanic activity, leaving all that water stuck in the crust. The oceans may have flowed on Mars buried beneath the planet's surface, making exploration of this region easier in the future. Scientists predict that oceans may have reached the depths of nearly 100 feet below the surface. But as the study points out, the liquid water may have been confined to the planet's lowlands. The Mars 2020 Perseverance mission is part of NASA's Moon to Mars exploration approach which includes Artemis missions to the moon that will help prepare for human exploration of the Red Planet. A key objective for Perseverance's mission on Mars is astrobiology, which includes searching for signs of ancient microbial life. The rover will characterize the planet's geology and past climate, paving the way for human exploration of the Red Planet, and the first mission to collect the Cache Martian rock and regolith. After collecting eight rock core samples from its first science campaign and completing a record-breaking 31 Martian day dash across three miles of Mars, 
NASA's Perseverance rover arrived at the doorstep of Yezero's crater's ancient river delta on April 13th. Dubbed Three Forks by the Perseverance team, a spot where the three route options to the delta merge. The location serves as the staging area for the rover's second science expedition, the Delta Front Campaign. Thomas Zerbuchen, the associate administrator of NASA's Science Mission Directorate in Washington, said, The Delta at Yezero Crater promises to be a veritable geologic feast and one of the best locations on Mars to look for signs of past microscopic life. The Delta, a massive fan-shaped collection of rocks and sediments at the western edge of Yezero Crater, formed at the convergence of a Martian river and a crater lake billions of years ago. Its exploration tops the Perseverance's science team's wish list because of all the fine-grained sediment deposited at its base long ago. The NASA rover Perseverance has spotted what it believes to be an ocean on Mars, which it says is the most compelling evidence to date that the planet had water on its surface at the planet's earliest moments. The discovery was made using images captured by the rover's cameras. The oceans of Mars may be far fewer in number and far less extensive than those on Earth, but they still represent an immense reservoir of liquid water. Since there is life virtually everywhere on Earth, where there is water, this history of water on Mars raises the possibility that Mars was once home to life and might still host life. However, Mars is now cold and dry. Previously, scientists thought that after the red planet lost its protective magnetic field, solar radiation and solar wind stripped it off much of its air and water. Mars still possesses the amount of water in its atmosphere, and ice would only cover it with a global layer of water about 65 to 130 feet thick. But recent findings suggest Mars could not have lost all of its water to space. Data from NASA's rover revealed that at the rate water disperses from the red planet's atmosphere, Mars would have lost a global ocean of water only 10 to 82 feet deep over 4.5 billion years. Researchers from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California and the California Institute of Technology examined data from the agency's Perseverance Mars rover. They found that the amount of water locked up in the planet's crust may be greater than previously thought. However, the study is only a preliminary investigation, so more work is needed to determine whether the water is accessible to future astronauts. Using data from the Perseverance rover and spacecraft orbiting Mars and meteorites from Mars, the researchers developed a model of the red planet, estimating how much water it started with and how much it might have lost over time. Potential mechanisms behind this loss included water escaping into space and getting incorporated chemically into minerals. The new estimates of the amount of water buried in the Martian crust range widely because of the uncertainty. That is how Mars lost water to space in the distant past. Mars has had at least one vast ocean, a so-called mega-ocean, filling much of the planet's interior and providing a habitat for microbial life. So with that, our video has come to an end here. What do you guys think about this discovery? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Mars Discovery and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.